Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Esports Health Walkthroughs. I finally completed the complete posture routine that everyone has been asking for. So this nine minute routine goes over a lot of the exercises that help us improve our posture or address the typical poor postures that we see a lot of gamers assume like nerd neck or the upper and lower rounded back positions. It also helps us improve our ability to maintain better postures for longer periods of time. And for those of you guys that are interested, we call these poor postures upper and lower cross syndrome. And what that means is that with these poor postures that we always see gamers assume, like their neck, upper and lower rounded back positions, we expect certain muscles to be tight or weak. And this nine minute routine goes over the exercise that addresses those regions of tightness and weakness. So if you guys are looking to improve your posture, you guys have come to the right place. Let's get to it. We're going to start with a global spinal and full body mobility exercise to warm up our bodies. Focus on allowing your spine to arch in each direction. Begin by tightening your abdomen, reach down towards the ground, feel the tension along the back side of your thighs and pause at the bottom for a gentle stretch. Then slowly rise allowing your spine to reverse, reach up with both arms either out to the side or in front towards the ceiling. Focus on arching your mid and lower back, stretching your body. Pause at the top for a lengthening stretch and repeat for one minute. Next, we're going to stretch a commonly stiff muscle along the front side of your hip, which can prevent our butt muscles from working well. Stand up from your chair and move a few feet in front of your chair. Place your right foot on your chair behind you while maintaining your trunk in an upright position. Push forward through your hip to feel the stretch on the front side of your right hip and don't let your lower back arch too much. Reach up and lean to your left to increase the amount of stretch and hold this for 30 seconds and repeat this on the left side. After stretching the front of our hip, we want to activate our butt and abdominal muscles with a chair squat. So stand up from your chair and move a few feet in front and create just enough distance so when you perform your squat, your butt touches the chair. Start by tightening your abdominal muscles, fold at your hips, not letting your knees translate too far forward. Tap your butt on the chair and rise back to the starting position. Squeeze your butt as you move up and repeat that for one minute. Now that we've activated our glute muscles and worked on some spinal mobility, we're going to work on our abdominal activation. We're going to be performing an elbow plank. So you're going to start on the floor with your toes all the way up to your shoulders in a straight line, maintaining a straight spine. Do not let your lower back arch excessively. Make sure you're pushing into the floor so that your shoulder blades are staying against the back of your rib cage. You also want to make sure your head doesn't tilt forward and you're maintaining from your head to your toes in a straight line.
From here, we're gonna continue to work on our spinal mobility, but also postural muscle activation for your shoulders. Start in a rounded position with your arms in front of you as shown. Tuck your chin and move into an arched position while moving your arms into the position on the screen. Your hands should be facing away with your thumbs pointing behind you. Squeeze in between your shoulder blades and focus on maintaining the chin tuck. Pause shortly to maintain the hold and squeeze and then return to the starting position. Repeat this for one minute. Up next, we're going to be addressing stiffness of our mid-back with an alternating set of exercises. Stand up from your chair, turn the chair around so you're facing the backrest. If your chair is shorter, you can perform this on the ground. If you have a taller backrest, you can perform the exercises in a quarter squat position. Keep your arms straight on the backrest and lean your mid-back into the ground to feel the stretch. Hold for 30 seconds. And now, while continuing to face the backrest, you're going to assume a quarter squat position to anchor your lower body. Keep one arm straight on the backrest, rotate through your mid-back, and reach with the other hand behind you. Look in the same direction of your rotation. Repeat and perform for 30 seconds. Then you're going to repeat the entire cycle with the chair extension and the rotation on the opposite side. Now that we've worked on your mid-back mobility, we want to work further on your shoulder postural muscles and trunk control. Sit back down on your chair and move to the edge of the seat. Bring your arms into a Y position, squeeze to hold your shoulders back, and maintain your arms in the plane of your body. Keep your lower back arched and lean forward. Move slowly down and back up and repeat this for one minute. These last two exercises continue to work on our shoulder postural muscles and require a TheraBand, but if you don't have one, you can perform this with a stick or just with your arms. Stand up and step away from your chair to make space for this movement. Draw tension into the TheraBand with your palms facing you, bring it overhead and behind you with your arms straight. The end position is slightly away from your body with your palms facing away. Repeat for 30 seconds. Optionally, you can repeat this section for more shoulder. This is the last exercise. Start in the standing position, draw tension into the TheraBand, and with palms facing each other and arms straight, bring your arms to the side of your body, making the letter T. Squeeze and hold your shoulders back. Repeat for the last 30 seconds. And just like the previous exercise, you can repeat for more shoulder work.
And that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did want to leave you guys with a couple of recommendations on how to utilize this routine in your day-to-day -day schedule. But I do want to start with a caveat. Don't forget that you still need to have better posture when you're actually playing because no matter how strong or flexible our muscles are, if we go back and sit with our terrible posture, it's still going to put us at risk for developing some gaming injuries. So if you guys want to learn how to have better posture, check out my complete guide. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can learn a little more about that. But in going back to how to actually incorporate this routine into your schedule, I would perform this routine either daily or at a minimum of three times a week so that you guys can gradually build up your ability to maintain better posture for longer periods of time. And I would look to do it before your gaming session so you can prime your postural muscles before you actually play. I would, would also suggest that you can include the seven minute routine or combine it with the seven minute routine to create a nice little exercise routine that you can do for yourself three times a week. And as it gets easier, you can even repeat this nine minute routine to make it an 18 minute exercise routine to just improve your posture and get a good workout throughout the week. Um, as a last note, for those of you guys that are a little more competitive, I would look to include this routine with some of the other walkthroughs that I have. The 9 minute wrist warrior, the 6 minute pro stretch, those are all going to be helpful in helping you prevent wrist injuries, shoulder injuries, neck injuries. So thank you guys again, and again look out for some more walkthroughs, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any other walkthroughs you guys want me to include, but thank you guys, you guys are the best, see you guys soon.